Okay, so today I'm going to teach you how to overclock your 5070 GPU. Um, first, uh, you want to download MSI Afterburner. And after you download MSI Afterburner, you might want to download GPU-Z to help you see your uh, GPU clocks and memory clock speed. Um, so I also downloaded Firmark. This is just for you to see um, the maximum uh, 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 GPU temperature when I run a benchmark and also when the GPU and memory um, speed. Um, right now, the MSI Afterburner, when it's open, um, the settings are 0, 0, and uh, power limit is at 100. You know, the only thing I changed is the fan speed at 100 for the testing to show you guys. So if I run the benchmark now at stock speed, it's going to show you that our um, GPU clock is running approximately at around 2.5 to 2.6 uh megahertz uh, gigahertz i'm sorry 2.5 to 2.6 gigahertz um and this is the stock speed so basically what you want to do is you want to increase the power limit to 110 or 120 i mean if you if you can do 120 you do 120 but if you cannot do 120 you can only do 110 then you do 110 uh, because some BIOS have 110, so if you have a 110 BIOS, that means you have less overclock clocking ceiling. If you have 120, that's good for you. And the next thing you want to do is increase the memory clock to 2000. So when we increase the memory clock to 2000, that will raise the, um, the memory clock speed to uh, extra 2000 um, megahertz. And the, ev the, the one that everybody's having trouble with is the core clock because the core clock it's not um, exactly like it doesn't work exactly like memory clock where it, does, it just adds 2000 it's an offset so meaning if you put uh, like say for my for my um, card 250 um, plus 250 will actually means boost 500 um, uh, 250 will actually mean I'm sorry. I mean, let me just I made a 250 will actually means that I am boosting uh, 500 megahertz more to the core clock. So I'm going to show you guys. We're going to test it. We apply the settings, and um, when you run the benchmark and you turn it on, you instantly see that it's hitting uh, two, 3 gigahertz, 2.9. So that's the reason why I use 250, but um, if you have an um, overclocking uh, model, you might have to use a smaller number, um, you know, like 200 or something like that. And you want to make sure that you're not going above um, 3.1 gigahertz, 3.2, um, because when you go over the um, CPU, a uh, GPU clock over 3.1, 3.2, it's going to crash. It's, gonna, it's not going to run stable. So now you know. Um, um, how to set it all you have to do is set to 250 uh, core clock 2000 power limit 120 um, but this setting is for people who have the non OC version of um, the 5070 if you have the overclock version you have to use a smaller number here and remember plus 200 plus 250 doesn't mean plus 200 plus 250 it's an offset so that's why you have to use uh, GPU-Z to help you see what your maximum clock is. And also, running the Firmark will not actually uh, um, show you the maximum temperature, um, it can maximum um, speed it can go up to. Usually I like to um, turn on a game, and when I turn on a game, for example, if I use Black Myth Wukong, and it's going to actually boost up to like over 3 gigahertz when I run the game. So this is the reason why you don't want to just um, use uh, benchmark software to test for your maximum um, clock speed because that's going to give you uh, not uh, that's not going to gi give you enough headrooms and you're probably going to end up crashing having um, system crashes so right now I have the, um, the game running for Black Myth Wukong and I'm going to show you guys um, you see for Black Myth Wukong if I'm running the game um, the GPU will go over 3 gigahertz uh, easily and this is where you have to be careful and you don't want to just go by the benchmark um, test must use the real 
grill game test and keep your GPU core clock below that 3.2 mark and then you will have a stable um, a system. I usually like to aim for the 3150 and as my maximum so if you have the 3150 then you probably will have a very stable um, stable card overclock and most of the cards 5070 the temperature runs pretty low so you don't have to worry about it they come with three fans and even with the two fans you're probably gonna be all right because um, the, the 50 series just overclocks a lot to your computer all right so I hope this tutorial helps you.